So this movie is called The Thanksgiving Indian, <clears throat> and it stars Steven Seagal. It's an action movie. It's probably got a little bit of drama, but remember how Steven Seagal later in his career in the 2000s started wanting to be a Buddhist monk in, in, in one movie and he's a, a Native American in Fire Down Below and remember all these characters he wanted to be like a holy man in because of his crazed ego so I thought you know what he should be the Thanksgiving Indian <clears throat> now this, this superhero uh, is based on the original uh, colonist uh, Plymouth Rock that whole the whole you know way back then with the Protestants coming, but he's the Thanksgiving Indian, and he has sup su certain superpowers. Uh, and we got to use Steven Seagal when he's fat, like super fat like he is today, because <clears throat> he's he just got fatter and fatter every day, but every movie, but um, he has a giant Native American looking trench coat, he wears the headdress, and this is completely offensive by the way, top notch offensiveness. But um, he, he has certain abilities that if you're shooting him, when you shoot him, when a certain amount, when bad guys are shooting at him, because it takes place today, and the movie is about him trying to stop an evil, a, a bad casino going into a native a land. It's run mostly by, like, white guys, and but it has a couple of Native American um, uh, guys that are corrupt trying to get this casino open. But the locals who are being oppressed by the white man and the couple of rich native dudes trying to open this casino, they summon through their prayers the Thanksgiving Indian. And Steven Seagal comes in on a canoe. It's got to be a flying canoe. And so he can fly if he has this canoe. But, um, and uh, he deflects bullets with his um, paddle. Yeah, there's a paddle on the canoe that he only is on the canoe, but when he's on it, he can deflect bullets. And then when he jumps on, when he gets onto the roof of the casino, <laughs> and the bad guys are shooting at him with modern machine guns, you know, because it takes place today. When they shoot him, or if they throw a grenade or hit him with a rocket launcher, what it does is it blows him up. But any time you shoot him or blow him up certain things come out of his, underneath his trench coat uh, chickens I was thinking turkeys turkeys get blown out so turkeys fly around when you blow him up he gets blown apart and you see his trench coat lift up and turkeys fly everywhere everywhere um, but he ends up whipping all their asses he gets to the main main native bosses he whips their ass with his kung fu slash you know all his uh, Steven Seagal crap and he had other superpowers. If you can help me come up with the rest of his superpowers, this is a really old thing that I came up with. But he was the Thanksgiving Indian. And um, he's a superhero. He fights for native rights. And it is the most offensive fucking thing. It was probably the most offensive thing that I think I could come up with at the time. I came up with this like in the late 90s after watching... Uh, Steven Safat, you know, Fat Seagal, um, in all his arrogance trying to play Buddhist monks and all that crap. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, help me think of some more things to do with Thanksgiving Indian. He's a very powerful superhero, and uh, he has his powers mostly are meant to defeat the white man, but but he 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 has no problem. He has tomahawks. I can't remember what they do. This is a complete insult. But if anyway, if you can help me come up with, help me remember, or at least come up with superhero ideas for this guy, most offensive thing you could think of for Native Americans would be Steven Seagal trying to play a superhero for the Native Americans. You know what I mean? Let's do this.